Yo, how is it going, everybody? Ever and give me give you a brand new side let's play of Pikmin on the Nintendo Wii Walker to it. So this is my uh, first time ever because I have uh, done through walkthroughs of playing Pikmin in a very long time ago, back since 2016, and it's been quite a while because um, I'm actually looking forward to this actually. So as you can see, because let's go ahead and show the uh, the demo because it's just going to show you through the tutorial on how you play as um, as Captain Olimar and command the um, your army of Pikmin. So you, you play as uh, Olimar and you take command with the other uh, red Pikmin and there are only like uh, three each and one of the Pikmin remain in every other planet. So you get to encounter red, yellow, and blue Pikmin and, all, and each three Pikmin you encounter. So this, yeah, so let's get started, alright? Because um, it's been so forever because it's been so long since I have not played Pikmin in a once in a while because we're going to try to make the best of, best of it because we're going to get everything in the 100% of getting every other the ship parts and every other planet and taking on several enemies. I mean, it, it may seem quite fun actually. So we're going to press on A to start the game and we are going to select a file. So yeah, as you guys can see because um, there are only two, two slots available. So, uh, yeah, so, because you guys can see here, because i done a walkthrough of this for a very long time, and we are in day 21, and not sincerely seeing what kind of record I get, but, yeah, I mean, yeah, that's that's been so long since I've done this uh, Let's Play in a, in a very long time, since I not have a capture card, but now, here we are now, so we're playing Pitman on a, a capture card just right about now, so, um, yeah, let's, let's get started, so this is going to be our second file for the day. And let's go ahead and show the VL cutscene. My name is Captain Olimar. While traveling through space on my ship was struck off by a meteor, I must have had black out there in a walker on the surface of the weird planet. With so many points allowed for the skeletal hold of my beloved dolphin, it's a painful sight. The engine is gone, I'm stranded. To the main matter words of my atmospheric sensors indicate that this planet environment contains a high level of poisonous oxygen. My life and support system can function for only 30 days. If I can't repair the dolphin by then, no! Better not to think about it, I must have found the missing shift parts. Why, yes sir, you do. You should indeed find several of your ship parts. So here we are now. So for the first time ever, so we're actually playing as Captain Olimar. So let's see if I remember this um, this strategy here. So we press the ZR to rotate the camera. And how do we zoom again? Okay, so I remember because you can press B to the whistle. And hold on. So which one is... How do we zoom out um, hold on. Uh, I'm trying to figure out which one is the zoom button. Okay, so the pod button is uh, how we look at our status of our pitmen uh, and everything on the map. So uh, let's go ahead and approach the uh, the onion. Yeah, but I'm, I'm still trying to figure out where the um, the, the, the zoom button is. I tried pressing up, down, left, and right on the uh, on the D step, but nothing happened. A strange thing has appeared before me. I have barely begun in my search of when it's as rare up as if it were waiting for me. If it's a jump is a single seed, what is it? Is it alive? Is it a machine? It resembles a vegetable on my home planet that we are called an onion. I shall call this an onion too. 
Okay, so can we zoom? Okay, well, still we can zoom. All right. Well, it just seems like that we approach the onion and then we we wait and see what's gonna happen. While okay, so now we're we're just finding witness to look at the environment of the the leaf bud. The seed of that the onion, onion drop it took a root in the soil and it has a now produced an adorable little sprout. This sprout emits a strange light and it just sways the back and forth but without a benefit of wind. I cannot help it but think it is a calling to me. I am compelled that I must approach it and press A. Yes sir indeed, you should. Let's do that. So we're plucking a red pigment now so we're just staring at the adorable eyes. Extraordinary. When I pluck a bird of spider, it turned out to be a living creature, not a planet pick, and it has done no visible damage. It just stands there staring at me. Its a shape is similar to the uh, Pikmin brand carrot I love so much, I believe I shall call it a Pikmin. Here, I am stranded on a toxic planet, I find to survive, and yet I'm in strict you that I must research this uh, fascinating creature that I shall try to grab it with A, then throw it in the direction I point. I, and I will call it to the side with B. Hmm, perhaps it will react to C. And I'm pressing down on the D stair while, while pointing as well. But the following controls that appear to the, allow me several viewpoints. Z, rotate the camera behind Olimar. Left and right zoom. Up, chain perspective. I must survive. I need to familiarize myself with the to controls of my surroundings. Alright, so uh, let's, uh, let's look here. So you re now we remember because we can go ahead and zoom out a little by pressing on the uh, the lefty stick, and we can go ahead and press Z to uh, rotate the camera, and pressing A. So as we go and press and hold the A button, so we're pressing hold the A to throw a pigment at this flower, or as we call it a a palipose. So that's uh, one of its uh, palipose that this uh, pigment must uh, carry to a ship of his of its onion. Because uh, people think that uh, every other Pikmin fans uh, name it Steve because it's uh, kind of uh, funny actually because people like uh, call this uh, Red Pikmin Steve. That's the name they give to in this game. Astonishing, but the onion that has sown more seeds of a small red pellet of a Pikmin harvest after cutting down a flower appears to be some type of food that can pro propagate the more Pikmin. The onion seems to be a shorter of incubator, needless to say, I must have studied this as trend life for more. Yeah, I mean, there's uh, a lot more environment to go around. So let's uh, have the red Pikmin get to work on banging his uh, banging his head on the uh, on the pallet posy. Okay, hold on. So I really think we should go and time it right. So uh, okay, yeah, red Pikmin, you come to me, and I need you to hit that flower while you still can. Okay, uh, red Pikmin, you're no fun. Okay, well. Okay, that's fine. I mean, I need a bit more practice. I'm not sure if the um, if the, uh, the pointer is not going to end to the flower by any chance. Okay, so as we can see, because each and one of these red pigments can go and multiply. So one of these uh, pigments must go and and get this palaposi. Okay, so that's one KO there, and we should have enough. But uh, hold on, how many we got? Okay, so that's four. Okay, so actually, hold on. So, to make it much more easier, we had two carry at the same time. So, we go ahead and throw another red pitman. So, two of it, two of these pitmen can go faster. And we'll go and call in our, our, our pitman. So, pitman, come to me. And I want you to get started on carrying this, uh, this five, this five pellet. Okay, so you carry that five pellet to the ship. While I go plant the recipe too. And if we have seven more of these red pigmen to go and carry at least uh, seven, then it, it make it a little bit more faster for each uh, red pigmen to go and pick up the pace. Well, there's no rush. I mean, we, we don't have like this uh, sun meter appear in this uh, game because this is for basic practice because you gotta get used to the uh, control when you play it on the Wii, but not on GameCube, but just only on the Wii. Because I realize because Pitman 1 and 2 been a release that since on the, uh, on the GameCube a while back. So we start by plucking these red pigment while they sprout up the bud into a leaf. So we get to all the plucking these red pigment. Okay, so we have enough for 12 of the red pigment. Okay, so how we do this? Okay, if we press on the on the down D stick, so we'll, ha we'll, we'll take command by having each other one of your red pigment go and push this cardboard box. So that way we go and make a bridge. 
And there's uh, one of this uh, pellet posy, and there's, there's a second on the left. Uh, so it's a second on the left on top of it, so we should probably get to the rest of these two. The Pikmin are as uh, curious as children. They are formed groups to perform a task that would be impossible for an individual. A glimmer of hope had to begun to shine in my heart. If I, I can make a use of their skill, perhaps I, I can fit to my ship, I, I shall sum up all I learned of Pikmin conduct. Approach to and press A to the pick sprouts, press A to the grab Pikmin, release to the throw, press B to call them, C to dismiss, press uh, down on D, stick and point to command and control the group, use the D and upper and left to, and right on D, stick to control perspective. I shall record this in my computer and assess it with plus. Well, yeah, you, you should do that. Okay, so now we saw, because we went into spot on one of Olimar's missing part of his ship to repair the dolphin. Amazing, there's no mistake in it. it uh, my ship uh, injured the rest of before my very eyes uh, by a stroke of pure luck. I have uh, already stumbled upon the most important piece of my damage craft that fate had smiled upon me. But uh, how would I get it back uh, to the dolphin? Why, well, you have pit me on your group, but you know what? Let's try not to overdo it because we want to throw at least, like, uh, hold on, now, yeah, we, we still, we need to get 20. So we need 20 red pitmans in order to in order to get the uh, the ship part. So we're gonna need more red pitmans that we can increase. Okay, now um you you're coming with me. Okay, so we'll have uh, one pitman go help out with his buddy. Okay, and we'll keep throwing some more. And we we have six of our pitmen to go and carry this. Okay, so I'm seeing three. Where? Where in the world? What? Wait a minute. I, I see six. So how are there six missing? There can't be six missing. Okay, you know what? No, what? Hold on, hold on. Time out, time out. I want you to come with me. I want two of these people to come with me. Alright, and uh, I'll throw just only one. Alright, and we're gonna move further downwards. And go me up with the others. Alright, and we realize that if we keep these uh, Pitmen stale where they're sprouted, then somehow they go ahead and and produce to um to sprout into a flower. So when the many Pitmen see the sprout at once, I find it, it rather tedious to the pluck of them from the ground individually. Uh, my wife has always uh, told me I was uh, no good at, at routine attacks. I guess I'll try to get it all done at once by repeatedly tapping A until I pick all the Pitmen from the ground. I noticed that when I add Pitman to my group of baby, become filled with excitement and flush with a bright color. At other times, they revert to a, a polar hue and give off a dime, dim glow. Paying close attention to these differences is a bond to help me distinguish between Pitman. Yeah, well, it's a, a door to the look because uh, it's a something that you gotta keep an eye out because somehow Pitman are way too tiny and small because. You, you can't actually see them where they're around because you no Pitman get left behind. It's like no toy get left behind. Y'all remember from Toy Story. So uh, let's go ahead and have several of these 10 Pitman go and work on this, this ship right here. So we'll have the rest of these 10 Pitman go and carry this while we wait until 5 of these Pitman take their time on this. But you know, we're going to need more helpers. So let's go ahead and plus uh, 2 of these Pitman. Okay, so we have the rest of these. Okay, hold on. We're, we need one of these each two Pikmin to get to work on this. Okay, so each and one of our Pikmin are just showing their true color form. Okay, so we'll have one of these red Pikmin come to me, and we'll get to work on plucking the rest of these Pikmin on the ground. So we're just gonna have to keep waiting. Alright, and then we start plucking. Okay, so we're gonna make the most of it that we go ahead and pluck all of the pitmen. And then go ahead and be up with the group. Okay, so we should have enough of 12, but, but more than 20 pitmen. So let's see. So how many have we got now? Okay, so that's more than 21. Okay, so we'll throw. So we already did for one because uh, we have uh, like uh, more than 22 pitmen in our group. So that should do enough, so we have enough Pitman in our group. So there's still going to be a lot more to, to go around in this uh, other new planet while we get this uh, first 
ship part to the Olimar ship, which is the so-called the uh, the dolphin. And yeah, and you can barely see because of this uh this dolphin is um it's taking way too much out of the commission here because uh yeah you can see this um this dolphin is is a no fit uh, over requirement of repairs. Because we're gonna get the most of it because if there's only like thirty all of our ship points that we gotta get searching to find all over uh, every other uncharted planet. Whenever we adventure. Okay, and this must be it. Alright, good job, Pitman. You d you get to deserve your break there. Alright, so now that you see, because the, uh, the ship is it's, uh, no longer being broken anymore, so it can still take off, but it, it needs more repairmen. Oh, glorious, uh, with the help of the depictment, I take a huge step back toward home. My shiver kind of wants again to lift off, but the glimmer of hope is uh, beginning to burn more brightly. Uh, but uh, what has uh, become of the remaining parts? Let's just start tomorrow. Okay, so it looks to me like everybody is is going on to their ships. Yeah, well, what's by mean because they're going to be Several of these encounters, which we had to, to watch out for, because several of these equipment are going to get left and they're going to, to get eaten by monsters. But, but, I mean, we don't want that, so keep that in mind. We're going to take we're going to take notes there because several of these equipment get left behind. They're going to get eaten at night. Just saying. What? Okay, one day since the impact, I have uh, somehow managed to launch for the dolphin, but I was surprised to see the onion lift off uh, with me. Perhaps for the Pikmin I cannot survive overnight on the planet's surface, or have they merely decided to join me for other reasons? Either way, it seems they will help me again tomorrow. The dolphin is uh, missing 29 parts. If I can't discover them all, I may never return home to my family on planet Hokate. In the lights you show, the life support the system will function for only 29 more days. How can I repair it on my dolphin in such a short time? A dense forest is visible on the surface below. As it's a hole for the keys to my survival, I'll name it the Forest of Hope. I'll explore it tomorrow. And yeah, so that's something we, we wait for tomorrow episode. So we have day one completed. So we, we get we get to save the, the game. And yeah, so the game is saved automatically when you're playing on the Wii. And, and so as you're playing on the GameCube, you're only allowed to to get yourself a memory card when you uh, play GameCube games, you you should keep your memory card with you in, uh, in case you, uh, you want to save your, your progress, in case you want to play more Pitman on the, on the GameCube. But uh, yeah, that, that's something I, I, I got involved with because, um, yeah, well, technically I, I never wanted a, a memory card while I was playing this on the Wii, but that doesn't count while you have it on GameCube only. Alright, so you know you guys, I do believe it's going to have to do it, so next time on Pitman, we are going to take approach uh, to the, uh, the Forge of Hope. But uh, we may discover brand new Pitman, which are uh, called Yellow Pitman. But uh, yeah, we'll, we'll look forward to it. Well, well the most of it, Ben. So we only have more than uh, 23 of our Pitman in our ship. Alright, so uh, yeah, as you can see, because we only collected but only one of the, uh, the ship part. So uh, there's only like total about 30 of the, 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 the mission ship part that we gotta get searching on finding. And we go scavenger hunting all over the, um, the planet. So uh, the fourth, I hope, is going to be coming up on next series, you guys. So you don't go anywhere, and you will be particularly on staying tuned on the next series. So thank you guys so much for taking the time to tune in and watching this episode. So if you like the series and want to see more Pitman, be sure to leave an advertising like, share the video, and subscribe. If you do subscribe, ring the notification bell so that you will set up the notified to when my newest and awesome videos have been way. So that's going to have to do it for today with, uh, with Pitman. We will be picking up more on the next one. So take care, you guys, and I hope to talk to you on the next video. Bye.